But this is huge, huge thing. Vancouver is uh, cut from the rest of Canada. So it's finally bright enough that I can uh, record a video. So uh, good morning, dear unsubscribers. And uh, today we are heading to Whistler, pick up our friends. And after that we are heading towards uh, or beyond Pemberton to start uh, this year's ski season because the weather recently is crazy and it's raining super hard in Vancouver and uh, we are gonna meet our group which went already there yesterday so we arrived to Whistler I'm loading the skis on the on the roof rack I don't know how, how the conditions are gonna be because I think it's in my opinion too early to go Okay, so a quick stop at the gas station in uh, in Pemberton. This gas station is operated by First Nation, what's really cool. Now we are heading only uh, into the mountains, so it's gonna be only uphill, so we are gonna see the change from, from this to, to snow, I hope. We are here. It's icy, not that much snow. And we geared up and ready to go up. We gained some elevation already and it looks a little bit better. This is the first time that I'm here so early in the season. So the access is a little bit harder and it's gonna be way harder to get to to the locations where we are skiing. How many people are here? I think 16 or even more. Crazy. We are gonna be so packed on this hut. One group went, uh, went up there to, to ride, the bigger group, and some of us just stayed here and we started to prepare the wood for the night and for tomorrow. Yeah. Work camp. Zavri dvere! Zavri dvere! Zavri dvere! Wow! What a beautiful morning! This is our second day and uh, I had absolutely no chance to, to shoot anything last night. Uh, it went into complete uh, madness mode, just pure uh, party hard style. And through the night it started to uh, dump pretty pretty heavily. I think it, uh, it snowed like 40 centimeters of snow. It turns to rain and now we've got a uh, super heavy fresh layer of, uh, of concrete. From riding this weekend is nothing. Oh, the sauna. The sauna was uh, uh, was a uh, amazing experience. Okay, so I hope next time when I will arrive here, everything here is gonna be under one meter of fresh snow. We are going back to our cars. We are soaking wet because it's raining. Yeah, looking forward to be inside in some cozy, dry room. Woo! Yeah. Wow. Look at this, and this is already like after the rain. So we uh, made it safely, da safely down, and now we are gonna try a uh, sauna uh, 2.0. Not bad life to have sauna in living room. Uh, after half hour in the sauna, I'm heading to the best location that I can choose, and that's this lake right here so <sighs> yes sauna for life <gasps> what a setup sauna next to a lake well i think this is the best thing what uh, happened this weekend so stoked to have this walking naked in the middle of the crossroad 
in Whistler heading back to sauna for round two okay guys so I think this is gonna be it life is about experiences and this is one of it the next day everything is still drying up because we were so soaked from this crazy weather uh, they issued uh, multiple warnings for everything it looks like this uh, world is slowly ending <laughs> because it's like heavy rains some mudslides are happening and some high winds and today I'm at home it's Monday because uh, there is no way that I will be working today and um, yeah the, the weather looks like this and now it's extremely windy wind gust up to 80 kilometers per hour it's uh, Thursday November 18th three days after the weekend here's Vancouver downtown uh, well downtown is more that way this is our residential area and this is English Bay and somewhere from there the barge was uh, carried away by the high winds uh, over here uh, the water level was up to here everything here was underwater and this huge barge got stuck on these rocks and now the the city is trying to to use the the tug boats i think there was one one attempt yesterday already some people are trying to convince the city that it's gonna stay here like a like an art piece or something but uh, yeah man like i i saw some pictures but I, but this is huge huge thing we had massive floods and uh, mudslides and some bridges got torn away a complete disaster for the whole province i will i will show you some some videos from uh, from other people and some pictures like how actually bad it is we were extremely lucky on the way home because on the same road one day after we went home uh, happened a, a big mudslide and um, uh, there was one victim, one, one woman died in the mudslide, the, uh, her car was just swept down from the road and some three other people are missing. That's from, uh, from the road where we were or from that area where we were and uh, 100, 100 kilometers uh, eastbound from Vancouver there is a, a flat land. This whole place is flooded. Uh, was home for many people with farms so thousands of animals already died due to this flood uh, city of Merit was completely evacuated because it's underwater uh, the main highway the highway one is destroyed on a couple of places some bridges are, are uh, torn away basically Vancouver is uh, cut from the rest of Canada. Another problem is that when the highway is uh, undrivable, we've got some problems with uh, transportation of supplies. All these ships are waiting for uh, docking into the port, but they can't basically because the whole transportation of trucks can't move all those containers somewhere to the other parts of, uh, of Canada. So so we've got huge container container ships and some other tankers just uh, waiting for that and that's uh, I have no idea how long that's gonna be stuff happens but this is uh, apparently something what uh, what is like one one thing in a, in a lifetime or one thing in 100 years some some rain like this These are the most aggressive animal in the world. Canadian goose. They won't kill everything and everyone the whole time since they crack open the egg.